Hey guys, this is Rod012. I might have to fix my levels a little bit. Okay. Testing, testing. I don't want to be super loud for you guys. That's good. What are we playing? You guys guessed it. It is Bioshock. The title probably gave it away. I'm still really loud. Do not like being too loud for you guys. Because sometimes I do get loud and that's not fun. So yeah, we're here playing Bioshock. That's it. And I decided I was going to play on the on my computer, but then I was like, nah, I'm, I want to try another version of the game. Uh, because up to now I've only played the computer version. Never tried any console version. So I said to myself, why not? Why not try a, a console version? The game should be just as good. And it's interesting enough, I think they upscaled the game. So it is a 1080p game. I'm gonna make it a little bit brighter for you guys. So I wanna see if it does make a difference. I'm gonna be looking at my computer screen to see how it compares. That is good. I will put it on easy because I would just want to go through the story. That's my thing, I'm not here to show off my skills because as you know, my FPS skills are zero. Even though I've played Infinite, and it's on, uh, difficulty is adjusting, so no problem there. I'll let you guys watch the intro. They told me, son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. I love, I love the logo. Love when they do this. I say this every single time. Actually, the second time now. But, but uh, I love when they do this. Yeah. I do remember the first time I played through this, I was acting like I was drowning. That was fun. Anyway, I love this intro. One of my favorite intros to any game. <clears throat> now here's the thing, I won't spoil anything, but I will be looking at this as someone that has just played Infinite. So I will make a few comparisons, both literal and, uh, well, whatever the other one is. Eh. I like this, you know, I always hit this every single time I try to play. What are these, by the way? They're just bags. But yeah, I always hit those. It's pretty interesting. And I'm gonna try doing something different. And every single person I know just goes through here. I'm gonna do it different. Hmm, here's the thing I notice. It's all black in this version. And, uh, yeah, go, like, from black to bright really quick. It does not happen in the computer version. The PC version might be better. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Wonder why. Okay, let's go up to the alternatives. Yeah, this is really weird. You can see the line. Okay. Observation number one. Compared to... This is a literal comparison. Uh... Yeah. It's a lot darker than... Both of them are... Oh. Oh. Propaganda. Propaganda. They wouldn't read it for me. No gods or kings, only men. 
In what country is there a place for people like me, Andrew Ryan? Andrew Ryan. Ah, oh, this music. I love it. What game has the better music? Mm, this one. I just like this. Okay, let's look at this. We looked at these in Infinite. It's not a spoiler because right in the beginning, they had the little badges too on the windows. Look for that if you're gonna play or watch my playthrough. So science, industry, oh, two hands shaking each other. And art. Then we have their little emblem right here. Well, the emblem of the city. We're both Ryan and Rapture. You know what? I shouldn't really care about spoilers in this game. This game, not infinite. I'm not gonna spoil anything there. But uh, it's a, it's kind of an old game. Oh, by the way, in the slideshow that's coming up. It's really cool, the particles in the air. You can actually see them, it's really nice. I just thought it was like a really nice little touch. Watch it, yeah. Can you see the particles all around? Fire at your fingertips, incinerate! I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. Whoa! City where the artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. Well. I really like this intro. I said it again. I'm gonna wait a little bit more. All good things. Oh, this sir. Flow into this city. All right, so yeah, intro-wise, it's really hard. I, this one is, mm, the thing with the intro and the an infinite is that it eases you into the game. This one's like, this is it. Next thing, you start the game. What we're gonna see now, it just like puts you in the game immediately. And, uh, I think that's something they made a lot better. But this is, because it's, like, so quick, it had, like, so much in it, you know? So I don't know. Here's also kind of the intro, you get the mood of what the city is in this little presentation and how people are in the city. Which is not very nice. City down here, not very nice. Jeez, lady, calm down. Oh, what, what are you doing? Uh, I played it a little bit, this version of the game, so I could just see, like, the, how it was gonna look. And actually, you know how the chords are coming out here? A lot better, and the open part looks a lot better 
from the computer. So that's what I don't know. Is the computer version better or is this better? Feels like. It feels like it's. Oh, oh sure. Um. Okay, I'm out. Ah. Uh. We're gonna need to draw out of hiding, but you're gonna have to trust me. I will. Ah. Uh. So beautiful. The good old Vita chamber or Vita chamber. I really I would like to say. It. Oh, can I pick these up? Is there nothing here? Is it like... Yeah, there's nothing here. Oh, it's broken down. I see. There used to be a bathosphere here. And there's just one. Interesting. It would be cool to see another one here. To see like how it is without a bat bathosphere. I know it's just like a closed thing, but it would be interesting to see it open. Oh, that's how the lid goes. Okay. But yeah, wow. This game really uh, holds up really well. I said this on my computer test, but I'm looking at it on the console version, which is a much bigger screen. And I can say, oh yeah, I can also, I, I said this in the beginning, it's being upscaled, so 1080p for this one. But, uh, look at that. I love the details. I just, ah, uh, this game's so good. Just a bit more. I love how he says crowbar there. Crowbear. I feel like, I, I'm not sure, I'm not very good with accents, but I feel that like they overly exaggerated in all the accents in here because there's a French guy further in the game and he just sounds like a, a, a like an American person trying to do a French accent. It's really bad. Ah! Oh. Ah, ah. This room is iconic. So iconic. It really is. Like just just how like it's built. It has like the beginning of the ideas of this game and like the plasmids. We're actually gonna see the first one uh, right up ahead. Ha! Uh, one thing I was noticing when I while I was testing this is the the texture on the face of these these doll things. It really looks real. It's really interesting texture on it. I know most of you don't care about it, but I just found it to be like really realistic. You know, subtitles ruin it a little bit sometimes. This little fish looks like he just had his cherry popped. Wonder if he's still got some atom on that. So early, so early. Let's talk weak. You're a weak shopper. This little fish I worked out in it would not be that yellow. Always have been. You'll be no better off with a metal daddy, little fish. See you floating from my... 
Why do they call you little fish? I love that they're still ethical, the little sisters. You all right, boy? First time plasma is a real kick from a mule. But there's nothing like a fistful of lightning now, is there? It's just... This room, these scenes, it just presents everything to you. Up to now. I said that it was like, oh. The intro stops. The actual intro stops. You get more of an extension on the... Uh, in, uh, well, now that I think about it, if you consider it, the intro as a whole, Infinite has a lot bigger one. But this one... It pretty much ends here, then you start shooting stuff. Well, you get the motives very soon, soon on. But, uh... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. You get, by the way, I wanted to see if they have the texture of the plane because as soon as you go into the, to this tunnel, the plane falls down. So, do they have the texture? No, just the bags. This is cool though, having the bags and the fish that are not moving. Very interesting. Anyway, let's keep on going. Uh oh. Get out of here. They make it so intense. Okay. And now we actually get our first little battle. Jeez, calm down. Take this in. Creativity, independence, and commerce. Ah, oh, this game. So good. Isn't there a secret somewhere? Pardon our dust. Okay, let's keep on going. Just thought I saw something there. And as you guys know, one of the great enemies of my playthroughs. I'll let him talk. The great chain is guided by our hand. This one is a really interesting one. This is one of the great mysteries of Rapture. This guy. This guy over here. His name is Winston Hoff something. He's everywhere. We're gonna look at his other places. 
Oh, so great. This oh, one's so great. Jeez, lady. Hmm. Rapture Masquerade Ball, 1959. Can't read that cocktail line. Ah, uh, the music. That was nice. That was pleasant. I love this area. This is one of my favorite areas of the game. The intro area. It's kind of a cheap one to choose, but you know, it's really good. And I never understood the mysterious light. One of the other mysteries of Rapture. Why is there a light coming out of there? Anyway. A lot of booze. A lot of booze around here. First aid. Do I need any first aid? Already full. That's good. Ah, let's take down my Eve. Okay. Alright. Uh, this was a longer, a longer little part. Because it's the intro. It needs to be a little bit longer. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys soon.